Good morning, everybody. <sighs> it's Friday, guys. Um, I'm excited just to be able to see another day, y'all. So, uh, if y'all are watching this video, y'all need to thank the Lord because uh, it's a day that did not have to be promised to any of us. And we're thankful. You know, I just want to keep uh, my husband's family lifted up in prayer right now as um, they lost their aunt on this week. So, everybody just keep them lifted up in prayer. Today's scripture is coming from John 16 and 33. Things I, these things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulations. I'm going through a big tribulation right now. But, whew, I love my Lord. But, be of good cheer. Because I have overcome the world. Jesus done overcome the world. He said, let's to be of good cheer when we going through stuff because he's overcome the world. Can't nobody going to ever tell you, be of good cheer, LeVance, because I done overcome the world that's walking down here with me. But the Lord can reassure me because he's overcome the world. I'm not a part of this world. I just live here. I'm not of the world. I'm just living here. And one day I'll be gone from here. So don't get complacent and don't get content in this earth being your final resting place because it's not. It's just a stop along the way. And we have to keep that in mind at all times that this is not our final resting place. This is just a stop along the way. But while we're going along our way and them storms keep beating down our dough, we better know. He said, be of good cheer because he has overcome the world. Oh, Y'all just don't understand to serve a God who can say, be of good cheer when you're going through your storm, baby girl, because I will overcome the world. He going to overcome everything that attacks his children. Those who love him, he is concerned about the things that concern us. Oh, Jesus. And y'all just don't understand the peace that God gives me. It's indescribable because some nights when I can't sleep and I start to pray and I say, God, I need your peace. I can feel like a blanket. You know, when you cover yourself up, when you call a blanket, just cover my body. And the next thing I know, it's a new day because I done went to sleep and I done woke up again to fight another fight in Jesus' name. I done woke up again. But the peace that he gives suppresses all understandings and nobody will ever be able to take nothing that's meant for me from me. God has already ordained everything that I'm supposed to have in my life. And it's all up to me on if it comes to pass because we have to follow his rules and regulations. We can't just do what we want to do and then be like, well, Lord, your word said, and it did, but there's other things that come along with it also. And we all know that. And, you know, right now, this just dropped in my spirit, y'all. I know I'm talking a little longer this morning than I usually do, but... So when stuff drop in my spirit, I feel the need to do as it, as the Lord say. There's a lot of lost souls out there. And I want y'all to know. Jesus is waiting on y'all. He is not. He said he would never leave nor forsake us. We turn our back from him. We walk away from him. He doesn't walk away from us. You're going to have to do your part if you love the Lord. And it's, some people don't know the Lord. So you can't be upset with them with some of the with the decisions that they make because they don't know, but you've heard of the Lord. It ain't like, you know, you might not have a personal relationship with him like I do and like others do, but you've heard of the Lord. So, 
I don't know. I love y'all. Despite the fact of, you know, um, I continue to pray y'all so hard for the answers about my son. But I know in due time, when God is ready to reveal, nothing will be covered. Nothing. No one shall be sheltered from the truth because if you took part in it, then why should you be sheltered and everybody else be put to shame? You know, so I'm going to let y'all go because y'all know me. I like to get to talking, but I'm just I'm just so happy because I can feel God's hand moving. I can see it. I can. Y'all, you got to have a relationship with him to feel what I'm feeling. Y'all, we just thank y'all for continuing to pray for us. I'm going to let y'all go for I be done doing a 30-minute video, y'all. And it's only supposed to be like three minutes. I don't try to talk that long, but y'all know. I get excited about the Lord, and I will go on and on and on because he is he's my, he's my everything. When I need a hug from my son, I say, Lord, I need a hug. I'm going to go. But I love y'all. Y'all have an awesome day. And remember, this is a day that the Lord has made. So rejoice and be glad in it. And uh, y'all, I'm going to get up and put my rolls together that I made last night on my Facebook page and see how that turned out. But I love y'all. Y'all have a good weekend. I'll see y'all probably later on today. Uh, and I'll talk to y'all. Love, peace, and happiness in Jesus' name. Bye, y'all.